pretty good. Hello. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? Hey, I'm Dalton. Nice to meet you. What's up to you? Taking pictures. Just taking pictures? Yes. Just taking yeah. pictures. Well, where do you, who do you work for? Uh, I work for Alaska Hilly Much. I do sled dog tours. Cool. Yeah. Right on. Are you yeah. a firefighter? Uh, yeah, I am. Right on. Yeah. So you're cool. just taking pictures today, huh? Just taking pictures, man. All right. Yeah. Have a good day. Yeah, you too, man. I heard him say something about the First Amendment. They know exactly what I'm doing. What we are doing. Well, that kind of blows our cover, doesn't it, guys?
guy in the blue didn't seem too happy about it though, did he? I heard there was a crazy lady out here that broke out a window. Well, you know, there, you know Houston uh, has crime. There's yeah. actually been quite a bit. Well, I specifically was told, years. someone that told, told me that there was a lady. That she was crazy. She busted in late at night. Uh, had a bunch of flares. Oh, that was over at the other station. Which one? They By the lakes? one they're building. Ooh. Over there alongside the road. The highway there on the left. Oh, I was told that was going to be like a, like a repair yard for you guys. It will be. Yeah. yeah, and that's for the borough, not for Houston. Oh, okay. So. When is that going to be up and running? I think so, before Christmas. So, I think that's okay. one of the reasons why everybody's in to find out what you're doing, is that yeah, we're yeah. all on pretty high alert for our own yeah, security. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Well, someone told me that someone was... That was the new building that she... Broke a window out of because I, I, I went by the one and I went by the one in Metal Lakes. I noticed one of the front windows is busted out. I wasn't I don't sure. Know all the details. Oh, okay, okay. Cool. Well, thanks for being polite, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, well, I don't care. You can do whatever you want. Yeah, yeah. That's so, cool. I just care about stuff, people stealing stuff. From me. I ain't stealing nothing, <laughs> man. I'm in a bright, bright jacket. You know, it's not like I'm trying to hide myself. Yeah. You know, I'm just out here taking pictures, man. So. Oh, he did? Yeah. You guys going trick-or-treating? Here in a little bit. Cool. We're on standby right now. Right on. So that was the, the new building. I That's, think so. Okay. You're that, you're that, the one right behind it. Because the Metal Lakes one had a front window busted out recently. Yeah. There's an older one right behind There's two of them. The new one that's being built, and then mm -hmm. there's an the old one right behind it. Really? So the most people didn't the one know out the, the highway. station. Yeah, there's, one, there's an old one right behind it. Really? I didn't know so that. It's just uh, kind of an old... I mean, it's not much of a fire station. It's yeah. kind of an old bay. They got fire you know. stations everywhere. They do. They got lots of small ones. Yeah. Everywhere. Yeah. And the idea behind that is that um, it's easier for us to come from our houses kind of swarm. and get to these stations. Yeah. And then if you have these long commutes, so if you have to drive 15 minutes to get to your station, mm -hmm. then to get in the truck and then to go back out. Yeah. The idea is that you have a, a station that you can come to quickly, get to, and get to your house and get to that house quickly if there's hmm. a problem. So there's two fire stations within the city of Houston. Really? Uh huh. There's this one and 92. 91 and 92. 92. This is 91, right? 91, yeah. 92 Where's 92 at? Is over by um, the high school. So Houston High? On Hawk Lane. Oh, on okay. Kenlar and Hawk I know where that's at, yeah. There's a fire station back in there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, drive down Kenlar. Look it's on the freaking right. freaking everywhere, man. Yeah. You can't throw a rock and not hit a fire station, yeah. you know? And then out um, here. it also enters. They've written rules and stuff and somehow insurances that you have to have a station within X distance to get certain home insurances. Really? So wow. People get, are, um, they get motivated to want to have stations to yeah. make it so they can have coverage so and be in a service area. So, which there are areas that are out of service. Mm -hmm. um, all on the back side of um, buying Big Lake on Burma Road. Burma Road, they, yeah. They don't, they don't have, they have no fire protection at all. There's even a little nook of a place right over here as you go down Miller's Reach Road, down in there. This road a, right here? Miller's right Reach down? is the one across the bridge over there. Oh, right? oh, okay, okay, yeah. There's a place over oh, there. Oh, I know what you're talking about. It's back a little ways. Yeah. Yeah, okay. There's yeah. a fire station back there, too? No, there's not, but there's a place that's got no fire protection. Oh, wow. So. Yeah, What? How, how many, do you guys know how many acres were burnt in the Willow Fire? Because that was, what, two two years ago, three years ago? I, recent, know. It was, I know it was recent. Yeah, I don't you know, know all the details. Okay, cool. Maybe, maybe you know. I got, I got a question for you. Uh, I was told that somebody broke out a window out of one of your guys' fire stations, some crazy lady, and she um, went inside with a bunch of flares and was trying to burn it down or some crap. You know anything there about? Was, there was some vandalism. Where was that at? Do you know? Was it here? No. That's what I, was, I was told it was here, but I don't see no broken windows. Thanks, man, for conversating. I appreciate it. Have a good day. Cool, man. Thanks for uh, thanks for being polite, guys.
Well, Mr. Firefighter didn't really want to say much, did he?